So you're busy. Really busy. But how about taking a few minutes to learn a couple new tricks to improve your productivity? Over the next little bit, I'll present a real-life example of a construction team manager, whom I'll call Ethan. When Ethan first started with Priority Matrix, he conducted a demonstration call with one of the fabulous members of our support team. He had a chance to talk about the features he needs, and now I'll share them with you. Let's take a look at how Ethan, the leader of a construction crew in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, has set up his priority matrix. As you can see, Ethan has six projects set up for his team. Bids and estimates, follow-ups, and then a dedicated project for each of his team members. As we navigate through the bids project, we can see that Ethan is using his own matrix setup, something that can be done by double-clicking on the name for a quadrant and filling it in with a custom name. Now Ethan has four team members under him, Lex, Teresa, Tom, and Kim. In order to best manage this team, Ethan has a similar project that he has shared with each of them. Each project's quadrants are divided into sites, materials and equipment, paperwork, and other or questions. In sites, Ethan keeps a list of the sites that his team members are overseeing. For example, Lex is overseeing a site at 100 Main Street. When we navigate to a specific site item's details by clicking on it, we can see that Lex and Ethan are making good use of a few features. He uses the due date feature to display a site's end date and also start date. The progress bar is used to keep a bird's eye view of just how far along a site is. The notes section is used to store relevant information from address and contact information to cost and any particular to-dos. The Files section can be used to keep PDFs and Word documents relevant to the specific project handy. Ethan uses the Conversation tab extensively. When he types a message, he knows that Lex will get an email update. He often uses green command shortcuts to update projects from the tab instead of having to do so manually. For example, in this project, Lex and Ethan are communicating back and forth about following up with Phil. When Ethan wants to update the project, he types in a command which shows up in green. For example, 85%, which updates the progress of the item. If he accidentally makes a typo when typing in a command, it simply shows up in black instead of showing up in green like commands do. Ethan knows that he can continue the conversation or use commands by replying to item-specific emails without having to go to his priority matrix at all. I hope you enjoyed meeting Ethan and learning what it's like to use Priority Matrix as a construction team manager. Check back in to see more ways Priority Matrix works across professions.